That shit was at eight minutes a second ago. Well, we got 16 minutes. You wanna open some stuff? Yes. Let's go. Yes, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're about to open up something that I didn't think I would ever be making a video about, but I decided to finally pull the trigger and spend the money on it, but I got my first ever racing sims. Oh yeah, we're also, we got a house in Atlanta, by the way. We got our steering wheel and pedal set up in here and our cockpit in here. I was debating on buying a motorcycle recently, but that didn't happen <laughs> and I don't know where to keep a motorcycle. So instead, that was a big deciding factor for why I actually got a sim set up instead. So anyways, you wanna take this upstairs with me and start busting open? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, pal. Let's go. Come on, Jed. What should we open first? The cockpit or the wheel? Let's do the wheel last. Wheel last? All right, well, first up is actually gonna be the cockpit. I believe there's some cheaper options, but I decided to go with probably the cheapest thing that could get me an entire cockpit. We actually got the next level racing GT Lite foldable cockpit. It has the lawn really chair. good reviews. If you guys are interested in this at any point, the link is in the description. You can get it on Amazon for about $230. Next we can get to the part that I know a lot of people are gonna be curious about because there's a lot of options for wheels that you can choose. Cheap and pretty expensive. Console special, we got the G920. Thought about getting some other pedals, but I decided to just go with these for now and then upgrade later on whenever I wanna spend a little bit more money, I guess. The shifter hasn't come in yet, so we're gonna put that on later, but this is all we should need to get started for now. So without further ado, let's put this together. You like my Snorlax socks? Oh, dude, those are dope. I didn't know you had those. All right, well, let's get the let's get the wheel out first, just because I want to go ahead and just open this and touch it. So another big part of the reason why I chose the 920 is because I'm on console. I wanted to make sure that I had something that was compatible and super simple to use. I was really aiming for simplicity, something that is literally just a plug and go setup. I can plug it straight into the Xbox and I should be able to just play right off the bat. Wow, these are pretty dope. And the wheel. Wow, pretty nice feeling leather. Touch that. Oh, it's not bad. Oh yeah, the, the shifters are pretty crispy. Yeah, so this is a pretty good beginner setup, you could say. The wheel and pedals both, I think, are about right under $300. Together? Yeah, together. Ooh, I'm really interested to see how much it flexes. I'm really hoping that it's somewhat sturdy, even though it's foldable. And then this all unfolds. There we go. Yeah, fold the headrest. Fold the headrest up. Okay, we got the top, we got the bolts in, that's fine. Now we gotta put the bottom on. I gotta take these out. And you can fold that over because it's foldable. So now I gotta stand this up somehow. Oh, you can move all these. You can like crank them around and stuff. That's really cool. There's these on the side. These will still be flipping up some. And this is going to hold the steering wheel in place. I think it goes like this to the front and then mine slips down. So now this does not come out and it unbolts in that Opens. and the whole thing I think swings open. Yep, that's cool. They probably pop on, I would assume. Maybe not. Oh no, you have to unscrew them. Ha! Ah, look at me being so impatient. Just smacking them like- Smacking the, the shit out of them like, oh yeah, they should probably just pop open. I wonder if they expect people to just beat the shit out of their stuff. I don't know, man. I am not the smartest. As the Greeks say, know thyself. I'm impressed with this so far. The materials are pretty top notch. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. Really it's a cheap does. option, but n it's not cheap materials. We'll see how long it lasts. I mean, I'll be I'll be using this setup a whole lot on Twitch and I'll be updating everybody on how I like it and stuff. So if you want to follow, you know, the whole thing that I'm doing right here with Sim setup, go follow me on Twitch. Yeah. We'll be doing lots of driving. All right. Last nut. Slip that shit through there. Yeah, last nut, Nick, make it count. Last nut, make it count. <laughs> and then these are also adjustable for your pedals. That's really cool, dude. What? I'm, I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. This, it goes on your side, because that's the gear shifter. Excellent. You can pull this end piece off and flip it 180 degrees if you want it to stick up in case you don't want your pedals no angled up towards you. Pedals are fully adjustable. The height is adjustable in the front, height's adjustable in the back. Ah, you can rotate the wheel towards you. 
That's also cool. We're gonna do our first ever test sit. Give it a sit. <sighs> oh, what? How's it feel? I'm definitely gonna have to adjust it. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm bring these towards me some more, rotate them back. I wanna have the wheel a little bit lower, but it's sturdy. It doesn't rattle. The seat moves forward and back, you know, a little bit, but not a lot. And um, as you actually lean back, into position, it firms up a little bit. Here, you sit in it. Okay. Nick is a little bit taller than I am. So those of you who are over six foot, Nick will be a good judge for you. So you can see what I mean by like the steering wheel. I would like it to sit lower. I definitely see what you're talking about. But that's not bad though, to just get started. First thing we're gonna do when putting this together is the pedals because the pedals actually plug into the steering wheel and the steering wheel plugs into the xbox so if we do the steering wheel first then you won't be able to plug these into them i'm excited because while you're streaming like xbox and warzone and shit, i can be in here playing this that's true you could just come in here sarah's gonna be playing xbox a whole lot more now okay so now we can set this down slide that up and down, lock that into place like right there. So now we can go ahead and mount the steering wheel. We're gonna do it the temporary way. So go ahead and get into your setup. So we'll just go ahead and plug in the pedals and bam. Now we have all of our cables run outside of it. Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited for this. It's the first night that I've actually had this set up and I have to play it on a stream. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitch, definitely do that. Go follow my streams and you can see all the action that's about to happen. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to actually move around and why I wanted this one specifically. So you just unplug one USB, unplug the power, and we can fold this up like that. A slide right over here. And then this is where we will be streaming from, at least for right now. So we can go ahead and just plug this straight into the Xbox. Now that's good to go. <laughs> I swear that is like the coolest part of having one of these now. Now that this is set up, let's just go ahead and hop into the streams. Again, guys, if you're not following me on Twitch, definitely do it. Turn notifications on and you can see every time that I am live. With that being said, let's hop into it. Yo, Gavin, you like surprises? <laughs> wow, we should have got these way sooner. I know. Dude, I was just like, I've been playing this for like the last day. I'm just like, how have I been a car guy for this long? I've talked about getting one for so long, wanted one for so long. Why did I not ever get one? 30,000 bits? Wait, hold on. Oh, that's why! Uh, we'll skip the carding and we'll do this. We're gonna start as our new racer also. By the way, guys, I'm playing with the new six speed. I played with it a little bit earlier to test it out. And so far it's 10 out of 10. Um, it definitely feels cheap, but it's not too bad. Okay. All right, there we go, there we go. Get out the way, buddy. Move, move, move over. This is my road. Get out the way, man. Okay, all right, I got him this time. All right, let's get it. I'm in first, so hopefully I, uh, hopefully I pull this off and do some good driving. Before I spend money, like, I wouldn't go out and spend 60 bucks on a new racing game unless it was like the new Forza. And that's because I already have the steering wheel and the cockpit and shit. If you don't have a steering wheel setup yet, I would just buy a steering wheel setup. Like you can go on Amazon and find stands for a pedal and steering wheel setup, and then you can just put a solid chair right behind it. You can sit in front of it, uh, or you can mount it to your desk. I would just do something like that before I spend the money on a, on a game. All right, I'm just gonna drive real easy this time. I already got the position. All I gotta do is hold it. Don't crash, just don't crash. So, so, don't, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't fucking crash, Daniel, come on. Son of a bitch. All right, oh, whoa, oh, oh, there's water building up on the track. That's what happened. I fucking hydroplane. Wow. Oh, 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 no, oh, shit, oh. 
I haven't driven a fast Evo on this game yet, so that'll be a fun Ooh, one. Ooh, I want to see it. That'd be cool. It makes 940 horsepower. Holy shit. Yeah. Out of a four banger? Yeah, four banger, boy. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Alright, well, this was a rowdy little one. 730. Not bad, not bad for a first time. I think the fastest, the fastest I've ever gone on the Nurburgring in this game is a 618. 6 minutes 18 seconds. Ooh, I wanna hear this. It's a V8. Oh my god, Nick. Oh my goodness. And it and it corners. I love that it's an H pattern too. Makes the car drive a lot better. My goodness, this thing is fast, bro. This is going really well. This is going to be a pretty fast lap. It's probably going to be one of the fastest laps I've ever had. I'm at, if it's under seven minutes, if it is in the sixes, I will be extremely impressed with this thing. This is my first time ever driving it. All right, we're coming up on the straight. We're going to give it our all. I think we'll get a probably like 195 on it. 195. Here we go. Top speed run. Ah, we might head over 200, maybe. On the downhill up here, we might get 200. Just stay in as long as possible. We'll see how fast it goes. Uh, we got like 195. So just 195. Great braking. This thing breaks really well. Super predictable. Up in 640 and I crashed, bro. This thing could probably run really close to a 618. It'd be close to it. All right, we're on Forza for the first time. Um, I played it a little bit earlier so I could get the settings uh, figured out a little bit. Driver to our difficulty, skill level. We're on average, what the fuck? Yeah, I like so I gotta do highly skilled. highly skilled. That's what that's yeah. what the people are wanting. Let's crank it up. They're still slow. They're still slow. I could have gone up another one and would gap these fools. Boy, let me start taking that damn RSX to autocross. I'm gonna whoop everybody's ass there. Oh, big break coming up. Big break, big break, big break. Ooh. It's okay. It's a front wheel drive car. I'm in control, boy. I fucked up. No, Danny. I'm getting humbled. I'm getting humbled, everybody. <laughs> Publicly humbled and shamed. <laughs> well, I won. Woo! First place, boy! <laughs> Expert, pro, unbeatable. I'll keep it on expert for now. I had it on highly skilled. I'll go up one level at a time. Why are you in seventh place? Be Bro, it's lap one, <laughs> Nick. Why are you sitting behind me talking shit? I don't see you up here winning races on this difficulty, okay? I'm good. I'm good. I just got the wide turn to keep wide <laughs> to keep my speeds high. Get out the way, boy. Yes! Out of here! Take that motherfucker! Oh, daddy, just beat that bitch. Just, just defeat. I'll just break later than him. Yeah. Don't break until the last minute. Don't break until the last minute. Yeah. Don't Bro, break that's what I do in every turn. Why do you think I crash so much, Nick? <laughs> First place. Let's go. Should I go up in difficulty some more, or is that good? All right, I'll try one another race. I want to get in some faster cars and see how the difficulty is, because that was a pretty tough race. I could have very easily fucked up. I got one more turn to catch him. Come here, bitches! You're all mine! Ah, oh, you fucks! Get out the way! <laughs> Smack him. Smack him. Give him a little bump of encouragement. Holy shit, man. I'm in first, bitch! Let's go. At all costs, I see. 
Holy hell, I'm still on the track. This is sick. This is really sick. I'm oh, just, I'm wall. just, a, so, I'm not yeah. gonna win this shit like this. Oh, you're gonna do it to him again? Oh, you're gonna do it to him again. God dang it, dude. I'm trying to avoid it, man. I'm trying. Alright, maybe I can fix it from here. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna, uh, I think it gets to work. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. I hated you. His fucking wheel came through your windshield. You can end up in the hospital if you're playing a stupid game. Did you keep bumping it into the game? <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're racing in Forza Horizon. I also ended up ordering a handbrake, which ended up being like. 400 fucking dollars, which was ridiculous. I didn't expect a handbrake for the Xbox Welcome One to back, be so Daniel. expensive, but it was like an extra hundred dollars because it was a Series X. But uh, we'll be able to do some drifting coming up because of that, so I'm pretty excited for it. I just got the Hot Wheels stuff, so I want to go through that. Well, I'm going to be driving through that first. So it's kind of cool playing uh, Forza Horizon having an open world. It's kind of nice just driving around in open terrain. You can go off road if you want to, you can cut up at any point. Also, I really love how the atmosphere looks in Forza Horizon. Like there is an immense amount of detail just in your surroundings. I drove around in it for the first time and I was like, holy shit, everything is so pretty and realistic. Like this is so nice. But honestly, since getting the wheel and pedal set up, it's just been so much more pleasurable. And it's also crazy to think about the fact that I've already spent over a thousand dollars in sim racing equipment. I was told by a friend so long ago, like once you get into sim racing, it's just like a money pit. It, you apparently spend so much money on it like you do cars. I've already been considering upgrading to like a nicer oh cockpit, gosh. something I can put in the corner. But overall, it's been a great investment. Zoom! Let's go, boy! There's no way a car suspension could ever handle that, but it's Hot Wheels so cool with it. Oh, we are killing it. We're killing it, man. We're flying. It says to hit the brake, but we don't hit the brake around here. Oh shit. Oh my god, we're off-road. I wasn't expecting this. I don't think having ITBs off-road is a good idea, especially with no filter. Wow, I am a big fan of this though. Oh god damn, this has got to be rough on your back. I ain't finishing in the top five. This is in and roll. Oh yeah. I'm oh! Oh, I passed up a bunch of people! Oh shit, what's happening? Oh my god, I'm passing people! Why am I passing people? What is happening? I'm in third! How did I end up in third? Holy shit, wow, racing turns around in crazy ways.